you are live with the bow tie guy how's everybody doing today on this uh it's kind of gloomy day outside today you know where i am i hear you know chris nissan again come holler at your boy uh um, everybody we just this is the holiday season you know we literally just got past thanksgiving i hope that everybody um had a really good thanksgiving i know that thanksgiving or holidays are not the same for everybody everybody got different experiences you know different things that they're dealing with with their family or losing loved ones so you know i hope to everybody who's this you know feeling alone or whatever the case may be around these days you know just pick yourself up you know it's gonna be okay you know you're gonna be all right you know uh now i want to talk about our thanksgiving trip it, we we my family took a trip and we never ever 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 do anything like that you know what i mean like never but this time it was a special occasion we did something because you know our family is dealing with the same thing we lost a family member you know my grandmother the matriarch of our family you know we decided to do something different you know so everybody's not kind of sad and you know being around the same area and the same location where we always are you know what i mean and it was a really really good time and it was something that I saw that just, it just was amazing me. And it kept making me think and it kept making me think. So we rented out a cabin, right? And the cabin had an upstairs and a downstairs. And it was just like, like a really, really nice, you know, uh, atmosphere. It was a nice event. You know, it was love. It was peace. It was fun. It was laughter. You know, we had a really, really good time. But I have a little cousin, you know, that's like two years old. You know, she might be two. I don't know. Something like that. But I kept noticing her and my son, he's four, they kept going up and down the stairs, right? And as a parent, when you see them going up and down the stairs, you're like, whoa, wait a minute. You know what I mean? You're kind of looking at them and like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? So me being a protector, I would, I, I would get behind them because every time I was trying to you know, help her up and down the stairs, you know, she didn't want to hear. Like my son, he just, he's just like me, he's a brother. He want to jump down the stairs and, you know, he's a boy, you know, so you don't get okay if he scrape his knee or do something, cause you know, boys get hurt, which obviously you don't want him to get hurt. But I'm just saying, you give them a little bit more leeway cause boys are rough and tough, you know what I mean? So with her, she was just following everything that he was doing. But she wanted to go up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs. He went up the stairs, she went up the stairs. He went down the stairs, you know. But everybody was walking around him and going up and down the stairs at their own pace. And really going up and down the stairs at a, you know, more fast or normal pace. And what struck me to be so interesting was that this little girl has so much determination. You understand what I'm saying? To get up and down those stairs on her own. Now, it may have taken her a little bit longer, right? She was sitting there watching people go. She would grab the stairs or grab the side of it and take her time. You know, sometimes she had to crawl. It would take her a while, but guess what? Every single day, up and down, up and down, up and down, she went up and down those stairs. And it started to make me think, that's how we are in life. That's how we are in life, that you have to have the faith of just, like they say, a faith of a mustard seed to know that I can do it. I can go up and down. I can go up the ladder. I can go down the ladder. Whether the ladder is success, whether the ladder is being a parent, whether the ladder is starting a business, whether the ladder is being a better husband, being a better father, I can do it. I just got to take the steps. And it's going to work at my pace because everybody's pace don't work at the same. It's not the same. Everybody's timing is not the same. God might bless you with something and he ain't ready to bless somebody else with something. They might not have that just yet. You know what I mean? But you still have to work at your own pace and you have to take it step by step. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you're doing, building a business plan, whatever you're trying to do, you're trying to be a friend, whatever it is, you're trying to get you a young lady, you're trying to get you a man, you're trying to get your husband, whatever it is that you're trying to do, start a new job, start a new business, you're trying to go and fix your car, get a new car, everything is a step by step. You see what I'm saying? There's a guy that says something that I love. It's inch by inch is a cinch step by step is the way that you got to take everything in life we can't jump over steps and miss steps and and, and and do it the faster way because you miss the process and what I loved about it is every step she got quicker and quicker as the time kept going she started learning how to go through this step and that step and this step you know what I mean so people I'm just saying in life take it step by step a new year is about to come step by step month by month 
day by day, hour by hour, second by second. Just take it step by step because I know the process is hard. I know it can be daunting as a task depending on what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a lawyer. You ain't went to school. You're 55 years old. You're trying to go back to school to get your, your, your GED or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Trust me. I am talking with y'all to y'all. You understand what I'm saying? It is a step by step day by day if you're a recovering addict you've been on drugs for 20 years you're trying to get clean it's a step by step day by day that's all that i'm telling you bobby brown made every little step by take oh you will be there you know it's step by step you see what I'm saying? That's all that I'm telling you. The song I used to listen to when I was a kid on TGI Friday. Step by step, day by day by day. Y'all don't know about that. Y'all look too young. Y'all look too young. But I'm just telling you, listen, take it step by step through the process inch by inch and it'll be a cinch. Listen, this is just one man's thought. This is just food, food for thought. Y'all stay hungry, be blessed, and be a blessing. You feel me? Go Cowboys.